what's up guys war here and we're back we're inside season 27 this is going to be the first video officially in season 27 and i'm bringing you a nice little tip video we got some, a lot of builds that we got to do a lot of updates and all that stuff but today's video is going to be all about the puzzle ring upgrading the puzzle ring to a sanctified item going in and absolutely crushing goblins to get all these juicy juicy rewards that you see here all of your crafting materials on top of a lot of gems okay so the cool thing about this is that you're going to be using the new angelic crucibles which you get with the season that's the new seasonal theme where we use one of these and it makes an item a primal ancient or ancient item which is great but the trick here is is that if you use it on a puzzle ring like we're about to do you use it on a puzzle ring and now this is a sanctified item which makes it ancient or primal ancient so when we put it inside of the cube here and do this this is going to make an ancient uh, goblin treasure room or treasure whatever it's called treasure room and we're going to go in and just absolutely annihilate so the reason this is going to be so good is because we're going to get so many mats so many gems that you're going to see i put all my gems into my stash you guys so you can see how much we get from run from one run so that's what we're going to do i have the best t16 farming build right now on here i'm gonna make a separate video for that so be sure to check that out guys but we're gonna go in here we're gonna absolutely annihilate this and i'm gonna show you why this little trick is gonna get you so many mats so many gems let's go all right look at all the gabos there was a bunch of them now there's not easy you're gonna get so many gems so many gems so many mats it's going to be nuts and we're, we're not going to pick up the rest of these items but we're just going to crush the rest look at this oh we got a big boy stitchy's here we got stitchy we got stitchy here what how great is that we got stitchy in the house and you can just see all of these mats all of these juicy mats we even get some uh, legendary items, which is great. Pick up all the mats first. This is just such a good way, guys, to farm uh, just resources in general. And just get items that you need. That you, you know, it takes a while to farm up a lot of these gems. So this is the way to do it for sure. You just come down and crush. You just come down and crush. You just annihilate everything. Super easy to do super easy to do now if you guys want to fight greed you can definitely fight greed uh he typically gives just a couple um oh we got a couple left it gives a couple legendary items and sometimes you can get a crucible back which is cool which makes this run really nice um let's see we didn't get another one back did we know we had three there so let's just go down we'll kill greed just for the video guys but um Typically, I would just leave greed alone. It takes way too long and, uh, with the animation and all that stuff, but we'll do it. We'll do it real fast just for you guys, and then uh, so you can kind of see what we got going on here. We'll just we'll just kill him real fast. Boom! Oh my gosh, I suck. I can't kill greed. No, guys. Let him run into it. Oh, my God. God, Greed's a lot harder with this build. Oh, my gosh. He dropped some cool stuff, though. That was neat. Okay, guys, so don't judge me on that. Okay, Don't judge me on that run. Greed should have died a lot faster. We are low Paragon going in. So, let's see what we get. Focus. Okay, so we didn't get, we didn't get our um, item back, but that's gonna be it let's we're gonna get back into town and i'm gonna show you everything that we got so look at all the gems you got we got so many death breaths we got so many materials it's just absolutely fantastic and then you get some really cool items along the way we're not gonna need any of this but that is the little trick guys i want to bring this video make it real fast nothing too crazy but if you want to farm a lot of mats, a lot of death breaths, a lot of gems, use your sanctified crucibles on puzzle rings uh, to get them. A real quick note, guys, from my last video that I'll link above. If you do want to know a quick little trick on getting a lot of puzzle rings, I know the season just started, but if you create a witch doctor 
put the witch doctor to level 31 leave the witch doctor at 31 and then when you get your death breaths just roll rings there'll only be one of two rings or no one of three rings that you can get with the witch doctor at 31 and that's a puzzle ring so that is a good way to farm puzzle rings and you just use the crucibles to level them up go into the into uh the level you know what is this the the what is the can't even remember what the level's called the dang goblin cave the goblin the, the treasure vault the, the vault oh my gosh and uh grind it out now this works really well because the angelic crucibles so many have dropped the drop rate is absolutely insane so you get a bunch of these uh some people will say that they weren't getting a bunch you know or they had to wait a long time before they started getting them but once you hit 70 on your character that you're playing and you start grinding higher grs you're going to get a bunch of these so just use them on some puzzle rings whenever you find them and grind it out Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the love on the channel has been fantastic. Thank you guys so much. I'm considering streaming Diablo. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.